What's going on YouTube? It's Tempest. Uh, I'm bringing you a brand new deck profile uh, for me. Um, this deck is really lousy. Um, I made it because I could. I had been trying to make it for like years and I just never had everything for it. And so uh, when this format started I just wanted to, you know, put Fables away. And as I was putting my Fables away I realized I still had a bunch of stuff for this deck. So I made it and um, it's just like I said, all it is is lousy. Like it's really hit or miss, um, but it's really strong if you can get it off right. So, um, and it's a Morphtronic deck, and um, Morphtronics I think are really unexpected because of the machine archetypes. They're just ranked really, really far down. Like you got Girgia, no, you don't. First is like Karakuri, right? And then you got like Girgia, and then you got like Machina, and then you got Machina Gadget. Um, cause the, you know, uh, what's it called is banned, um, the ultimate offering. And you got Birdman and stuff, Gen X Ally Birdman and all the Gen X shenanigans. And then there's Morphtronics. It's like, they're like the battling boxers of machines. You know, they're good and, but they're kind of consistent and nobody expects them. So anyway, um, I'm going to get to the deck profile. Um, this deck might get updated soon. I don't have everything for it. Um, but, um, I have most of it, which is pretty much good enough. Um, so we start out with three self on. Um, he's basically your quote-unquote searcher. Um, we roll a die with him, and then when you, whatever you roll, you can check the top uh, cards of your deck up to the number of uh, the number you rolled. So, uh, if you roll like a three, you check three cards, and then you can summon a Morphtronic from among them. So it's normally going to give you a plus one um, if you can roll like a three or higher. Um, and uh, I play 18 Morphtronics in here, so basically the odds of you. Uh, hitting a Morphtronic, or uh, I did the odd, what is the ratio on my head? I don't even remember. Uh, 18, 40, 2.5, 15. Yeah, so you basically have a 40%, 40 percent, 40 45 percent chance of hitting a Morphtronic. Um, like, okay, no, that's not right. 40 to 45 percent of the deck is Morphtronic stuff, so when you roll a cell phone, you ideally want to reveal like three or more cards so you can hit at least one Morphtronic ideally. Um, probability. Um, three Scopin. He's really good. Um, he's basically your main tuner of the deck and he's part of your main engine. Uh, when he's in attack mode, he can special summon another level four Morphtronic from your hand once per turn. And then while he's in defense, you get to make him level four. Um, but it doesn't do anything else. So if you roll uh, a scope in off a cell phone, you can summon him in defense, make a uh, cataster or something, and then just pass. Uh, that works. Um, next, we got three Borden. Um, he's really good. Uh, when he's in attack mode, all Morphtronics can attack your opponent directly. While in defense, they can't be destroyed by battle. Um, at least other Morphtronics can't be. So what you can do with him is uh, I play Machine Dupe. So um, you summon him, machine dupe, and then play two more him in defense, and then you have a board in lockdown, so you, none of your Morphtronics can be destroyed by battle, which is pretty nice. Um, at the very least, you need to need until for the OTK so you can swing directly. Um, next comes the second part of your OTK, Morphtronic Boombox in. Uh, this card with uh, board and basically any super good equip spell is just like a three card combo for a game. Um, Boombox gets to swing twice when he's in attack mode. If he's in defense, he can negate one attack uh, that targets a Morphtronic monster once per turn. So, yeah, pretty good, pretty uh, versatile card. Um, and then the uh, next card we have three Radeon. Uh, when he's in attack mode, all Morphtronics gain 800 attack. So he's an 1800 beater all, all on his own. Um, and, um, yeah, you basically, you don't really need him for the OTK, but, like, if you go. Radeon, if you summon Radeon, have Borden on the field, and you machine dupe, or you manage to get like two more Morphtronics out, it doesn't even matter, because like, every one of them gains 800, it's just so good, and so you need to play three of him if you can. And then the last card is three Remoden, he's your searcher, um, once per turn, if he's in attack mode, you can banish one from Grave to add one Morphtronic with the same level to hand, or you can discard a Morphtronic from your hand when he's in defense to add another Morphtronic from your graveyard to your hand with the same level as the one you discarded. So yeah. Again, versatile card. This is the only Morphtronic monster I don't know if I want to keep running though. Like there's a couple other good cards in here that I could put up pull out for him. I have um Gen X Neutron in the uh 
extra pile I have, which lets you add any tuner from your deck to your hand when you, uh, at the end of the turn, he's normal summon, so that can be helpful. Basically, Ramonin's in here for being a Morphronic and for being a tuner, so. Um, you definitely don't need to play three if you don't want to. Um, I'm only playing three because personal preference, and this deck's still in testing, so. Last card is two Fortress. Um, just a tech card. He's a beat stick. He lets you, you know, just another card you can summon. Um, and stuff, you know, I don't know, it's just a good card, you know, it's just a really good card. Um, Machina Fortress. Um, and he's also a floater, because I don't have any gear frames in here. That might be another thing I could take out, like, these for gear frames or something, I don't know. Um, for spells, you've got your triple duality. Uh, a friend of mine is telling me I should be playing, like, all these deck thinning cards, because for OTK you want to have, like, all the pieces you need for it. And then just go ham if you can. Um, and so he said, like, play Upstart Goblin, play one day of peace if you can. Play, um, what the fuck is the card called? Um, card card D if you can. But really, number one, I don't have space for all those. And number two, it doesn't really take that much to get the OTK ready. Because I play, like, three of basically everything. Um, so just duality at three is enough, I think, to make the deck work. Um, yeah. There's not a lot of defense in this deck, so you can't exactly like duality into a card and then like set pass or whatever. Um, so you have to kind of be able to back up whatever you do with duality. Um, like uh, I really don't know, but like yeah, you have to just have stuff to back it up with. So it's kind of inconsistent, but if you can pull off something with it, you know, it's good. Um, three junk box. It's actually special summon a Morphtronic from Grave. Um, and then, uh, that card maintains its effects, but it's just right at the end phase, so. Um, just helps you with the OTK push or whatever, you know. Um, and do other things. Uh, two Machine Dupe. Uh, this card is really good. You either use it with Borden to make a lockdown until you're ready to push for game, or you use it with self on, and then you can use three self on rolls in a turn. Um, uh, which is really good. If you can, because it gives you like three chances to summon Morphtronics, you know. And if you get like, if you hit two or more Selfons with the machine, with the with the effects to go off or whatever, and then you can just overlay them for like a uh, Slacker Magician and then go off again, um, if you need to. Slacker Magician is not really that good, but it's not bad either. Um, now we got some equip spells because of course equip spells are important in any Morphtronic deck. I got two Double Tool. Uh, this card is really good. Um, if you equip it to a level form machine type Morphtronic or two power tool dragon, it gains a thousand attack during your turn and it negates the effects of all monsters of battles. Um, during your opponent's turn, it doesn't have one thousand attack, um, but it does uh, prevent your opponent from attacking monsters except for the monster equipped with this. And then any monster that battles with it will die at the end of the damage step. So this is pretty good. Uh, you can equip it to boom box and play him in defense, and then he can be swung at only, and then you can negate one attack, which is pretty good. Um, or you can equip him to power tool and just like sit there, you know. Uh, generic things. Uh, three united we stand. This is the main card of the deck when you win conditions. Uh, any monster equipped with it gains 800 for every monster you control. So you basically. Uh, I mean, you get it, and you you summon a bunch of stuff, and then you equip it to one guy, and then you push if you can, uh, like as hard as you can. Um, and the last spell I have is two mage power. Um, it's more situational than United We Stand, but it's still really good. Like the most United can be is like 4K if you have more monsters. This card can be 25 max. Um, it gives you like 500 for every spell and trap card you control, so it's not as strong. But it's just as useful, basically. Um, and that's why I only play two, because it's not as strong. And the last card is Limiter Removal. Um, it's just really, really, really good. It's a win more card, to be honest. Like, if you have two cards in your hand, and you have an Equip spell, and you have Limiter Removal, or like two more Tronic Monsters that you can summon, and you have Limiter, and you have Mage Power, or any other Equip spell, you can basically go off pretty good and try to push. Like, normally you couldn't immediately win um if you just had like one equip spell unless it was like united we stand or something i don't even know but like yeah limiter is necessary and it's just really good for that final push 
Um, and then we got Dark Hole, just because this deck doesn't really care about spells and traps, but it does care about monsters. And then, last but not least, we have the Royal Decree, because like I said, the deck doesn't care about traps. Um, I'm playing a whole lot of spells. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, Yeah, 17 spells. Um, 20 monsters and 3 traps. Um, this card is just really good, because normally against... this deck, The reason this card works is this format is so either back row heavy... Every deck's going to be like either back row heavy or no back row at all, so... I'm going with the whole no back row, no back row removal in this deck. I just play in Decree. Because that means I don't have to play MST. I don't have to play Morphtronic Sling in. I don't have to play Morphtronic Accelerator, you know. I can just rely on this card to just do all my dirty work for me. And if my opponent MSTs it, that's fine. I have another one, you know. Not a huge deal. Um, all I need it for is the OTK, and that's it. And if my opponent doesn't have any back row, I don't even need to play it. Yeah. I definitely play Decree over Traps done in this deck. Just because you don't even have any traps like this is permanent it's not like a huge deal or anything um no side deck for this yet um except for like a couple of things like uh gores and um uh transmigration prophecy and some random stuff i don't know um but yeah uh extra deck is as follows one contester um i need to get an army arm in here too um but yeah army arm is pretty good in here um Barkion, because you can make him with uh, when you do remote in with a uh, Borden or something, and then um, he lets you negate traps, which is good if you don't have uh, the rope free. Uh, power Tool Dragon, I only have one of it. I need a second one, um, but since I only have one, I'm also playing Black Rose. Just because it's a generic level 7, and it helps with blowing up the field if you need to before you go for plays. Um, you would want to try and save this until like as a last resort if you can. Because normally if you do that, you'd be going scoping into a level 4, racing your normal summon, and then blowing up the whole field just to junk box another card. So, uh, And the last set, level 7 is Bylon Delta. This card is very underrated, and I don't know why it's not played more in Morphtronics. Uh, what you need is one tuner and one or more non-tuner lights. So to make him, you play Scopin. And you go scoping into uh, Radeon, and then you make him. Um, when he's in defense, at the end of the turn, you can add any equip spell from your deck to your hand, and then he's a 2800 defense. So he's so basically an impenetrable wall, and um, he lets you add free equip spells. So power tool, I don't, like I said, I only play seven equips, so I can only do power tool one, two, three, four, like maybe five times a game. Um, Normally it's like three or four because I'll draw one or two equip spells just from drawing them, um, and then Delta lets you grab the rest if for some reason you haven't won by then. So, um, he's just really nice. Um, and then the event that you need a wall, he's also there. But yeah, the second power tool is what I need. Yeah. Uh, level eights, Stardust. Um, again, if you can make him instead of Barkion, that works too. Crimson Blader because he's a beat stick. Um, not incredibly necessary, but Eh, he's just a uh, good. To sl if you if you can slow down your opponent, if you can't OTK them, but you can slow roll them with Crimson Leader, that's sometimes just just as good. Scrap because it's a generic level eight. Mistworm because it's Mistworm. You make this, you. Oh hey, the sun came out. Uh, I might have the glare. Oh well, whatever. Um, anyway, um, that comes out. You do things. You make plays, and uh, you bounce their cards, and then you do things. Uh, Slacker Magician, just a generic. Rank one. Um, that's, all I, that's all it is, really. It's like if you go self on into self on, self on into nothing, and you need the defense, that's pretty good because you can't be destroyed by battle. And then when Utopia is your generic rank four. Um, I have, have four more slots in here that I'm kind of still toying with. Um, right now I'm between uh, Gravity Warrior and Gaia Knight for the, the second level six. Um, Gravity Warrior is good for when your opponent has monsters, um, but if your opponent doesn't have monsters, then Guy Knight's better. So, and basically, Gravity Warrior needs your opponent to control two or more monsters in order for it to be a uh, a decent uh, alternative to this guy. So yeah, because he gains 300 for every monster your opponent controls when he's in Um, for the rank threes, I need more rank threes. I need to play like two of these. And, or like a Leviathan Dragon or something. So Giga Brilliant really helps with the OTK um, normally. Um, Ten Tempo is just good because it stops Ophion. 
And then today I was like playing a deck and I was like, damn, I have two remote and so I wish I could make Zen mains and slow them down. And so I was like, damn, I wish I had Zen mains. So, you know, it's just generic, the rank threes, you know how much to do it. And then the last slot would be another rank four. Um, so either Maestro or Papal Operative or Cowboy or something. Right now I'm leaning more towards Papal Operative. Um, because if your opponent has like a Spirit Reaper set and you don't have Borden, you know, you could just slip it up and then swing over it or something. I don't know. Um, don't really let to say, you know. Uh, kind of got a mix of aggressive and defensive. Uh, extra deck, you know, rank, uh, Xyz monster things. Um, so yeah, the main deck is the main thing for Morphtronic, which is what I went over first. So, you know. Um, so far the deck's been playing really well. I've been winning a whole bunch of troll games the other uh, day. I was playing against Fire Kings, and I basically went, turn one set Borden, pass, turn one. He went, I don't even know what he went. I think he guess he summoned, he went tanky into Yaksha, summoned uh, Yaksha, swung over Borden, passed. My turn, uh, I drew, I summoned Boombox and junk boxed for Borden, uh, equipped Boombox and with, um, now do we stand to make him a 38 B stick? Oh wait, not 38 B stick. What the hell did I do? Oh, I also had double tool, so yeah, I equipped it with double tool and uh, united him. It was a 38 B stick, and I swung twice, and then I uh, swung with board and for game. And it's just you know stuff like that, like you know lulzy stuff. If you can like make first turn power tool, you're pretty much stuck for the rest of the game because your opponent's gonna have a problem getting rid of him and then just setting up stuff. So, yeah, that's my Morphtronic deck profile. Um, thank you for watching, and if you uh, have any questions, please be sure to comment. And if you like the video, please be sure to like and uh, subscribe if you need um if you want to uh, see more content or whatever. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching.